Hello and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. And on this episode, I'll be talking about the NBA playoffs. We had two game sevens and they lived up to the hype. Um, The first game was incredible. The Nuggets got out to a big lead. It was up 17. You know, they did that against the Spurs also in game seven and the Spurs chipped away, but, you know, came up short. But this time around, the Blazers and CJ McCollum just chipped away at the lead and took the lead and just... It was a, a great finish. You know, Dame struggled, but, you know, he made the right plays. He grabbed rebounds. He had assists. He almost had a triple-double, but, you know, CJ was the guy at the end just making the clutch plays. And the Nuggets, unfortunately, they had one of those games from Jamal Murray where he's, you know, hit or miss. Jokic struggled a little bit, um, but it's a fantastic season for the Nuggets. Um, a very young team, first playoff run, and they went to Game 7 twice. Um, it's it's a great season for them, and... I'm glad a lot of people got to finally see uh, Jokic on the big stage and see what he could do. And he wasn't a defensive liability that most people thought he would be in the playoffs. He 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 was great. Um, you know they they're very young, but um, they're going to be a strong team in the West. You know for years to come. I really like their core. Um, but uh, shout out to Portland for just a a great finish, great comeback. CJ was just making all types of tough shots. Dane. I wrote on Twitter he should, he needed to hit three threes in the, in the fourth quarter. He hit two, but, you know, they were big threes. And, you know, it, it just propelled them into the Western Conference Finals where they take on the Warriors. I'll talk about that series after I talk about the East. Um, the, the Raptors and Sixers, their game was a little slower to get into. I don't know. It just felt like the Portland and Nuggets game, it just – felt like high energy from the beginning this this Raptors and Sixers game felt kind of slow and sluggish in the beginning but the fourth quarter they just start picking up uh Jimmy Butler started coming alive hitting tough shots Kawhi was hitting tough shots Lowry he wasn't hitting shots but he was working he was hustling making steals he was getting offensive rebounds he was doing a lot of stuff that doesn't really you know translate to the box score um in terms of scoring like the the starters for the Raptors were struggling you know everybody besides Kawhi Kawhi had 41 he took like 30 something shots so he he really wanted it um the Raptors haven't had anybody like that in the in the postseason where they're just gonna keep attacking keep going keep going and Kawhi was taking his time he was going and then he hits that shot and wow that that was a tough shot he came from one side of the court dribbled all the way to the other side and hit a fadeaway like out of bounds and it was it was crazy and it was good to see Kawhi show some emotion. Um, the picture that they have is incredible. Um, and it was just, it was, it was fun. Um, strange seven game series, but still a lot of fun. Um, and they, they take on the Bucks. And I want to talk about that series first. Um, Bucks, Raptors, Eastern Conference, you know, both teams haven't been there in a while. And it's it's gonna be Giannis versus Kawhi. And the two best players in the Eastern Conference probably. It's it should be a lot of fun, but the Bucks are in a groove, you know, they, they struggled that first game against the Celtics. Um, Coach Bud made some adjustments and they took it to the Celtics right after that. Um, Giannis has been incredible. Um, you know, he's constantly making an impact on the game, whether it was on the defensive end or the offensive end. He's constantly attacking, um, getting his teammates involved. And I like the way George Hill's playing as well, coming off the bench uh, for Bledsoe. He's He's playing with a lot of confidence. I haven't seen George Hill play with this much confidence in a while. He caught alley-oop in the last game against the Celtics. We haven't seen that in I don't know how long. Um, He outplayed Kyrie for the majority of the series. And um, I just like their their others, you know, as a lot of people say. I like the Bucs' others. They're playing with confidence. Um, Pat Connaughton coming off the bench. Um, You know, Meritage, he can always shoot it. Uh, Brooke Lopez struggled a little bit. You know, it was a tough matchup with Horford, but maybe – um, against Gasol, he has he didn't look great. He can um he can get off. So I like the Bucks coming into the series. I just like the way they're playing. I like the team concept, the the defense, the offense. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. Um, they're working Brogdon back into the into the into the system. You know he played in the last game against the Celtics. So their team is just playing well at the right moments. They're playing great at the right moments. Um, for the Raptors. Who's going to do something besides Kawhi? You had that first game against the Sixers where, you know, Siakam was was doing his thing too, and it was Siakam and Kawhi, and they was just attacking and scoring, you know, at will against the Sixers, and then they put Joel Embiid on Siakam, and he struggled. 
Um, some games he did put up scoring numbers, but they probably lost the game or it was a blowout. And he lost confidence really in his shot, his, you know, away from the basket, his three-point shot. He wasn't shooting as much. He wasn't attacking as much because MB can make up the space and block his shot. So he kept trying to do his spin move. And he always looked like he was going to fall over and get clumsy. He should have more favorable matchups in this series. So it, it was it's, it will be interesting to see how he, you know, he comes out in game one and how, you know, the Bucks play him. So they need him to help Kawhi because today, again, he took like 30 something shots. He had 41 points. I think the rest of the starters had like 30 points combined. Um, we don't know what kind of Lowry we're gonna get. We're gonna get. He hurt his finger. Um, he was messing with. I think he jammed his thumb. He was messing with his right ring finger or something like that. So we don't know what Lowry we're gonna get in the Eastern Conference Finals. So they need people to step up. Their bench terrible. Um, Ibaka and Fred Van Vliet are the only ones who got off the bench in Game Seven. Ibaka had like strong seventeen. Van Vliet like four, and he's I don't know. He's just been bad. So what else? Can they get from their starters? Can Danny Green hit a shot? Um, you know, it's just they need they need help. They need somebody to help Kawhi just carry the load a little bit. You know, Kawhi can bring him home, but they need uh, impact from somebody. They they got those games against the Sixers every once in a while. Marcus will have a good game or something like that. But they need more consistency um, from their role players. You know, to have a chance against this Bucks team. I'm still going to pick the Bucks in six. Um, I don't know. I, I I think Kawhi is going to have a game or two where he's just dominant and, you know, there's nothing the Bucks can do. And, you know, they, they steal one or two games. So Bucks and six in this series and moving on to the Western Conference, we have the 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 backcourt duel. That's what I wanted. I wanted CJ and Dane versus Steph and Clay. Also have the Curry brothers going at it with one another. It's a it's a should be a fun series, exciting series. Um, both teams fought hard in the semifinals. Um, the Warriors, of course, without KD to start the series, he may he may be out. Who knows? Two or three games. It should be interesting if you know Portland. They have a chance to steal one. You know, just like how the Rockets had a chance to steal a game. You know, a game one with the the you know when they had rest. So um, it's going to be interesting to see who Golden State starts. Um, I'm pretty sure Iguodala is going to start, but will it be Bogut? Will it be Looney? Who gets to start at center? Um, Portland, they have to do something with Cantor, you know, on defense, because I believe the Warriors are going to really move the ball around a lot against this team. And they're going to get Cantor out in space and he needs to stay on the floor. You know, he he put in a lot of work against Jogic, banged up, um, fasting. He's, he's doing the best he can. And, you know, in the beginning of the series, he was really good. I think he had 12 rebounds tonight, um, which is, is solid. He did OK against um, Jokic, but, you know, he had his moments where it looked like can't play him because he was he was struggling. So can he stay on the floor against the Warriors? You know, it's going to be um interesting matchup uh, in terms of the backcourt. It's not going to be, you know, Steph on Dame and stuff like that. They have Iguodala and they have Klay Thompson to throw on CJ and Dame. Um, I'm pretty sure Iggy will probably start on Dame or something like that. And Dame struggled a little bit. He, he struggled the majority of series um against the Nuggets and CJ seemed to be getting his looks either easier because he's more crafty than Dame. You know, CJ the way he he cuts through on the pick and roll and everything like that, he can get to his spots and raise up. So it'd be a fun matchup uh if Clay is guarding him the majority of the series is just because Clay is a great defender. He he might be underrated at this point. Um but he really works on a defensive end. So I'm really looking forward to those matchups. Um, I think the Warriors are going to win. I'm going to pick them in six. Um, for the Blazers to have a chance, they need um, Amino to show up. He was terrible against the Nuggets. Millsap was destroying him. Jokic was destroying him. I know he hit a, a, a big three today, but he only had three points. Um, he he wasn't doing anything on the on the glass. He wasn't playing solid defense. He you know he wasn't contributing. Same thing with Harkless. Harkless had some moments. Um, was it that overtime game? I think he had some moments in that game. He had a, a big dunk in this game, hit some free throws. Um, he's probably going to be guarding Steph Curry, so he needs to pressure Steph, make him work. Um, if he's open, hit a shot. Aminu has to hit a shot. The forwards for the Blazers, that's their, their weak spot. You know, We know Dame and CJ is going to come through. Cantor was solid. Um, Collins was really good on the defensive end against the Nuggets. He's a little wild you know, because he's young. So we'll see what happens against the Warriors. But for the Blazers to really – 
be in games and compete. You know, we we know they have to get stops, but what can the forwards do against, you know, the Warriors when they start moving the ball around, you know, like how they do? Can they match Draymond's intensity while still playing smartly? You know, Collins can match the intensity, but he, he might lose it a little bit mentally and pick up a stupid foul or get called for a tech. You don't want him to, you know, get up there like that. So, you know, the Warriors, they have to play Warriors basketball. Don't turn the ball over. Don't have senseless, careless turnovers, you know, that they're prone to. Um, play with a sense of urgency, you know, with Kevin Durant out and, you know, play with a purpose, you know. Um, don't slack around. Uh, make the right read. And, you know, try to get Clay going early and Steph going early and f- feed off of Draymond, you know. So I picked the Warriors in six, Bucks in six. Um, so I, I hope it's – Two fun series. I don't want to see a sweep or anything like that. I hear people saying that. I don't want to see a sweep. I want to see two competitive series um, with a lot of highlights. Uh, I really enjoyed the Game 7s that was played today. Um, definitely lived up to the hype. Um, but those are my picks. Bucks and Six, Warriors and Six. What are your thoughts on these two series? Um, do you have any favorites, any matchups you're looking forward to? Uh, thank you for listening. Deuces.